first of all, I want to say the, the cut hair. I like, like the new look. Thank you. I like, I like it too. Look. The whiteness. So it takes so, a lot to get it to this color. You have the most amazing outfits on this show. What right. uh, do, do you like have any input on this? Because you get, you really do. You look the best on the show. Out of Stop all. it. Are you going to say that to everyone? Aren't you? Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> well, we, we that's all, all down to our incredible team, obviously, John Glazer, mm -hmm. is our um, designer. And he just this year, I mean, every year has been amazing. And what I love about John is he works with the evolution of the character mm -hmm. so closely. So this year, I don't know if you've noticed, but like a lot of the things have been really pared down it's got like much more of a clean line like a bit mm -hmm. of a kind of French feel and it's harder because we have now kind of teamed up into this sirens kind of kick-ass female mm -hmm. power group and so all of our outfits have become a lot more streamlined and like a little sort of gang mm -hmm. um, which really helps us then act because I feel like a boss, you know, because I look like a boss. I've well, got you some, are, like, slick you suits. Are, you're behind the scenes boss. So come on, yeah. we're yeah, selling yeah, yeah. arms now. I mean, you went, yeah, from, right? you went from kind of crazy uh -huh, uh -huh. to, to I own the bar, I'm taking care of the bar here. Yeah. And now you're, you're arms dealer. Yeah, right. So what else are we going to be doing? Well, there's going to be, oh my goodness, there's so much coming up. It's so fun. There's, there's some really great stuff coming up with Barbara and Raish, mm -hmm. uh, which kind of leads to some amazing things for me later on. Uh, where I get so to do like a little bit more fighting, which is going to be really fun. And yeah, she kind of becomes a boss of a different group of people, which gets exciting. Uh, and then Raish gets a bit uh, jealous of that. And it's, there's, yeah, it's, it's, I'm trying not to give too much away, but there's some really great Well, we stuff know there's only so much she could say, but okay. we're all hooked. We're all hooked. Thank you cool. so much. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of your Comic Con. Thank you. The scene with the hand bar. Going with with my hand, hand, yeah. It was intense, right? How many times did you have to practice it without hitting? <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, I was a little scared. I was a little scared that there was going to be some actual damage. But it was a fake hand. Uh, and I think it was done, if I remember correctly, I think they did it as like a special even. So I didn't actually, I was never in danger. Uh, yeah. What, what about what about Barbara's? Oh, kind of, yeah. Yeah, just recently. I know, kinda, that's right, the last episode. Yeah. I know. I know, it's all trickery of the camera. we all kind of jumped on it. Right. We actually well, good, jumped on it. Good. So. That, like, you should have thought that I was about to mm -hmm. chop her hand off. That was the point. I, I totally believed you. Yeah, oh, good. So, so what do we got going on? Um, the latter half of the season, or, you know, in a few episodes from now, uh, we're going to come back to uh, the three girls and really them forming this group, the Sirens, um, and just having more autonomy and freedom in Gotham and being these independent, badass women who, who rule things in their own right. Look at the badass version of Charlie's Angels. Yes. Ah, exactly. I like the sound of this. Exactly. With well, weapons and whips and I would be afraid leather of you with a whip. Yeah, <laughs> you should be. <laughs> I am totally in. Thank you so Thank much you. for talking yes, to us. You too. Thank you Bye. so much. Hi. How are you doing? Cameron, how are you? It's, oh wait, I've seen you before. We have done the very first year you had Gotham at yes. San Diego. Oh you my were God. my only interview. Are you serious? You were my only interview. Oh, so it's like, oh, oh. so you have grown, and, and, and when I saw you, you were just, you were so yeah, I was a little baby. Oh, I know. She's like, yeah, we have to talk. Cause I'm you're still, like, I'm still a baby, you're but you're still a baby, but the, man, they're dressing, dressing you. Oh, wow. Yeah. And the, the clothes are definitely getting tighter. So yeah. I'm definitely having to do a lot more time in the gym. That's for sure. <laughs> but I love it. I love it. It, it. it allows me to discipline myself. So it seems like Tabitha's given you a lot of the whip, the whip lessons too. Yes. Can can you actually? I haven't done. I haven't practiced in a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, but when I did do it the first time in the finale, I actually did do it, and I I, ha I posted a video on my social media. So if you want to stalk me a little bit, then you're I give you full range to do so. So proud. Um, but I was so excited because it it's actually really hard because mm -hmm. a lot of people they think that in order to get the crack they have to put a lot of effort into it, but it's literally just your arm. So that was hard for me because I want to use my whole body, but yeah. Well, it sounds like as soon as they're ready to make a female version of Indiana Jones. Yeah, I'm your girl. There you go. So are you all set for this, <laughs> the rest of the season for Gotham? What do we got going on? I am set for the rest of it. Um, 
I've been working a lot with with Jess and Aaron for T Tabitha and Barbara, and I've loved it. I loved every second of it. The writing is so good, and Selena, it's bringing out Selena's um, humorous side because she's always been funny, but in her very sassy way. And now it's kind of being with two uh, older women. It's it's kind of bringing out this childish humor in a way, and I love it because I never get to do that. So I'm having a little bit more fun with her. Well, well. It's it's, it's, I hear that you guys are like the, 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 the female strong version of the Charlie's Angels. It's like the, the naughty angels there. I guess, yeah. yeah. I guess you could say that. Su superhero angels there. Kind of I like think oh, a little bit more darker. Um, I'd say that they're different and that they don't belong to anyone. I, like, I'm like. i not familiar, too familiar right. with the films, but Charlie's Angels, they're, I don't think they're like that. I think they're just... It's just angels. A good trio. You know what I mean? You guys They're are just, just a badass trio. We're just a badass trio that stand for our own, and we're just trying to find our independence within the underground world of Gotham. What well, was so nice getting to talk to you again? Yes, it's you too. It's been way too long. It has. I hope it's we nice get to see you again, again soon. Yes, you take care, thank okay? You. Thursday's episode, we meet Sophia Falcone, and we see her. We see her work, James Gordon. And then we see what she's trying to do, which is which is trying to help him take Gotham from Penguin. Um, and then in the next episode, which is Thursday, you will see her try and work out whether or not she wants to, what she's going to do with Penguin, and they meet for the first time. And then there's that really amazing cat and mouse game they play, and Robin is so phenomenal to act opposite with. So it's, hopefully, it's a good scene. Now we were actually talking. Are you going to be holding a grudge because your brother did kind of... He did. I think that never really comes out in the script. Mm -hmm. um, but as an actor, you know, it's certainly something that I use. And then you'll see what happens. Well, I wouldn't want to date Daddy's girl if it was the daughter of Falco. Yes, I know. So I have to tell you, as a Star Trek fan... Dr. Bashir. Ah, uh, yeah, Dr. Bashir. Hi, not, guys. Not that I'm like totally geeking out. <laughs> Forever, Dr. Bashir. Ah, uh, so Gotham. Yeah. Holy cow! And Holy we were cow. just I, I just overheard you talking about how the world outside today seems a little bit more like Gotham than Gotham. We're getting more Gotham-y yeah. by the day. I think we're just gonna like absorb the whole world. Absolutely. So tell me what's gonna be happening. I think it's uh, I'm, from what I understand, and I'm a humble actor, is that because uh, the producers they know everything, um, but. Uh, Everything's going to start exploding this season. I mean, they're going to—they're building a. You know, it's. This is. We're in endgame territory, mm -hmm. and things are going to get so heightened and so drastic. Uh, you know, the, the animals are going to take over the farm, from what I can tell. Are you going to be a little behind the strings? I hope I'm pulling those strings. I certainly hope so, um, because if I if I'm not, I'm not doing my job properly. Mm -hmm. Rachel likes to pull strings. It, it sounds like yeah. He uh, he tries to out. He just tries to outsmart everybody. Well, I mean, you're also part British, so we we, we, know, <laughs> we know the British always take a pull the strings. As yeah, so yeah. We, sounding patronizing right is uh, natural to me. Ah, uh, see, that's the way it goes. <laughs> well, thank you so much for coming Real out. Real pleasure, Sean. Thank I you. I really appreciate it. You're thank, you. thank you. I'm I'm feeling rather small at this. Point. <laughs> <laughs> I get that a lot. You get that yeah, a lot. I get that a lot. But we do kind of have a little bit of this. There, there we go. go. Yes, sir. How are you? Doing good. Yeah, so I like your shirt. Oh, Look at that. Represent. represent All right, know? DC. Got to. Well, yeah. well, we started this morning with with, with Batman and Two Face, uh, and then we got them. It's like a bookend. Love it. Absolutely, I love it. So what's what's going on with Butch these days? Come on. Uh, yeah. So uh, at the end of season three, Butch yeah, yeah, gets a bullet to the brain, which is is rough. Spoiler alert. Although if you haven't seen it by now, come on, Seriously. get with it. Um, so uh, Butch ends up in Slaughter Swamp. And for those of you comic book fans that understand what that means, there's only one way to get out of Sla Slaughter Swamp, and that's to rise as a zombie. So Solomon Grundy appears uh, in episode five, and, um, and we've had a, a lot of fun shooting it. It's been such a thrill, one of the thrills of my career to get to do this. And so. How much makeup is there? There's a lot. There's a lot, a lot of makeup. How many hours are we talking about? You know, the, at, at the most we ever did was five hours when I had the full body. And that was that was just ridiculous. Uh, we, we average about two now. We've got it down to about two. 
Uh, sometimes it's less if I have more clothes on. <laughs> so, so I, it's been a process. I say as a promo, we should take you out to Halloween Horror Nights. Yes. Full makeup. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. I, I, well, I'm glad that they, that he's premiering before Halloween because I, I expect to see a lot of good Grundy costumes uh, for Halloween this year. I know my son is going to do it, uh, so he's already ready for Baby Grundy. Oh, uh, but but awesome. I do have to say it's so it's. It occurred to me, I was doing ADR the other day, and so I saw what we were doing for the first time. And it occurred to me, like, this is a big deal because, you know, outside of the 70s kind of comedy thing, we've never seen a live Grundy. So, you know, and I, I really take a lot of pride in the fact that we try to get things right on our show and that we have a look. And it's kind of, you know, it's no, not everybody's going to love everything, but that we really try to, to make it as close as we can to what we understand the comics canon to be. And so... It's been fun for me to be a part of that canon now after being an original character, uh, and I, I've, I've enjoyed every second of it. And I, I, I mean, I'm biased, I know, but I think no. people are going to dig it. I think people are going to dig it. You know they're going to. Yeah. Man, it's awesome. Pleasure. You. Yeah. Can't wait to see Solomon. Thanks Sol a lot. And, and make sure you post a picture of your son, because we want to oh, see yes. you look good. Yeah, absolutely. Like yeah, we'll do it. Thank yeah. you so much. All right, much. cheers. Thanks, everybody. Last time I saw you, you were still frozen. Yeah, yeah not no more. Not no more? Yeah. You just frosted out. Yeah, so, fine. So what do we got going on so far? Because uh, I, I missed Thursday's episode, so okay, I'm so one I, episode back. So, but spoil away. So I thawed out on Thursday. Oh. We just put him in the microwave. See what I yeah. when I'm at Comic Con. Yep. Yeah, but uh, my body, my body's thawing out, but my brain isn't. Not right yet. No, <laughs> it's not right. <laughs> my head is not right in so many ways. Uh, so that that puts a little um kink in the plan to swiftly get revenge back on Oswald because the any sort of uh, route I would take getting there would be through tricking or uh, puzzling him when I just don't have the capacity to do that anymore that's it sounds like we're in trouble with that yeah. so what do we got going on well if you need a doctor who do you call and I do oh. my brain's not working Look at doc. That. Uh, so Lee left at the end of last season, obviously, mm -hmm. but she never leaves for very long. Let's that be honest. That is true. You keep coming back for more. It's like I a just for cannot stay away from Gotham. This time, though, she's in the Narrows, which is where we are, where we have this little sort of family we've created. Mm -hmm. um, it's an underground society in Gotham, and there's a Fight Club, and Lee is the Fight Doctor. Essentially, she fixes up people in exchange for being able to run a clinic and help people. Do you realize you're breaking the first rule of Fight Club by talking about Fight Club? Oh, shit. No. Now what? Well, it's a good thing she runs the place. Exactly. It's a good thing she runs it. Uh, anyway, so it's, a, it's sort of an opportunity for her to be in the underground, not have people know she's back. She's got a totally new look, totally different attitude, and she's trying to do some good. Sounds like it's going to be fun. It is. I can't wait to see what's coming up next. I can't wait to get home and actually watch and see yeah. the frost in a little out of it. Yeah. So, well, thank you guys so much for coming out Cheers, and talking Sean. to us. Thank you. Good luck with the rest of the Thanks season. Thanks so much. Thank you. thank you. How are you dealing with this whole license, the the, the license to be a robber and everything? Weird. Because because you, you were not dealing with it. I missed Thursday's episode. We were here. Oh no. I mean, Comic Con takes everything away. I know. What's we're going? not we're not dealing with it well. I mean, at the end of the day, the that creates a um, you know a real point of conflict between Harvey and Jim. Harvey you know believes that penguins way uh, may not be the moral way but it's um if it keeps things sort of kosher in gotham if the um if people aren't dying in the streets then what's the harm and jim yeah. can't abide by that so it'll really bring conflict i know you tend to kind of go along with that i'm like. reluctantly but i think it makes sense he's a pragmatist he's like yeah. cops aren't dying i know you know higher ups are sanctioning it i'm just in a line of command i he's caught he's yeah. caught but he um I think I think it's Jim's really morally righteous stand against it that takes Harvey back a little uh, back a little bit because it's like and you said that really nicely a little earlier that it, you may have arrived with a white horse but your horse is pretty muddy now yeah. you know and so for me to be like hey dude yeah. you're not on a white horse yeah. anymore yeah, so exactly well so, we know you guys got to get out of here we appreciate you guys coming out to talk you. I Thanks. wish I could sit down and have a drink with you guys by the yeah. bar and, and, and talk all kinds of stuff but we know you got to get out of here thank you very good much good luck with the rest of the, the season shirt. so who's the bigger ass kicker here because you're pretty badass we know Alfred's kicking ass 
and you technology wise kick tons of are we talking about in real yeah, life yeah, or? Yeah. <laughs> well let's do let's do let's do show let's come have on let's have a strike because i have now. a feeling yeah, we, 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 can, we can answer yeah, the question. we can end it right here um <laughs> my opinion alfred yeah. Today. Today. Alfred's Today. pretty damn dangerous. I, I agree. He's a bad dude, man. Uh, and Alfred's one of those guys that you don't expect to be a badass. Yep. Um, you know, he's wearing three-piece suits. He's very prim and proper. But he can um, lay you out. And if you touch him the wrong way, you're on the floor with your head in a headlock. Yeah. So, you know, you got to watch out. I think we're all afraid of Alfred. We know you guys got to get out of here. Thank you so much for talking to us. I can't Thank wait you, to see. The, the suit looks amazing. And... I can't wait to see how you turn into Morgan Freeman. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's good. Thanks a lot. Thanks.